Hello there everybody, it is Tegan here again today, and next to me, I have a very large pile of books. A very large pile of books. I have 18 books next to me. Those are all the books that I bought in June. I have problems, <laughs> if you hadn't noticed already. I do have reasonings behind it. I went to this thing called Lifeline Book Fest, I think it's called, in Brisbane, and they had lots of cheap books, and I got 16 books while I was there, so I do have reasonings behind why I have 18 books next to me, but I did buy a lot of books in June, and I know that, and I'm not sorry. <laughs> My bookshelves are sorry because I am running out of room on them, but other than that, I'm not sorry for it. <laughs> so yeah, I got 16 books at this book fest. And my total came to $29. 16 books for $29. Like, okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so I'm going to go through the ones that I got at the book fest first, and then I'll go through the other two that I've got. Basically what this book fest was, was they had three separate sections. So there was one section of books for $1.00. There was one section of books for $2.50, and then there was like a higher quality book section, and those ones had the prices on the inside, but those ones still weren't very expensive at all. And they were all used books, so they were all books that were donated, and then all the money that goes to this book fest gets donated to a charity that I'm not sure what the charity is, but it gets donated to a charity. So I was, I was doing a good deed by buying these books. <laughs> I'll just get started I guess. I got one book from the higher quality section and that was Blue Moon by Alice and Noel and this is the second book in the Immortal series which I have read the first book and I really really enjoyed it. It The first book is called Evermore and I loved the first book and I've always wanted to pick up more books in the series but I've never just gotten around to it so I finally got around to picking up this book. Basically this book is about a girl named Ever who her family got into a big accident and they all died and she is now able to know a person's whole life story by just touching them. So yeah that's just the uh, overall basis of the story but yeah I'm very happy to have this book and I'm very excited to get into it. I might have to reread the first book first before jumping into this one because I'm not sure I remember everything that happened but I'm very excited to get into it. Okay so the majority of these books that I got at the book fest I'm not gonna be able to tell you what they're about because I don't necessarily know what they're about I just picked them up they look interesting and I bought them because they were like a dollar so <laughs> just letting you know I know something about some of them but I'm not gonna be able to explain everything about all of them but if they look interesting if the covers look interesting to you then you can go and look them up Plus, I've got a lot of books here, and it would take a very long time to go through the summaries of all of them. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the books that were $2.50 next. And I got six books in the $2.50 section. So the first one that I got just seemed interesting to me, and it's called Destroying Avalon. So this book seems to be about a girl who is cyberbullied at school, and she has this small group of friends and she's not even sure if she can trust that small group of friends and she's getting all of these bad text messages and on social media and stuff so it just seemed like an interesting book. I haven't really read very much like this so I'm excited to get into it. So the next book is Evernight by Claudia Gray and this one seems to be about something about a boarding school so I'm really excited to get into this. Next up is one that I have never read before but I actually really wanted to read because I really like the movies and that is Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I've just always wanted to get into the series and at least pick up the first book and see if I like it. So that is what I did because I did really enjoy the movies when I was younger so I was like why not just pick it up. Next is Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk and I've heard so many good things about this series. I'm pretty sure it's a series but I've heard so many good things about this book. My sister read it, she loved it, I've so many people loved it and I've just never gotten into it and this that just like sounds so interesting so I'm just gonna read it to you because it sounds so good. So it says 
Maggie loves books, so does her father Mo, a bookbinder, although he has never read aloud to her since her mother mysteriously disappeared. They live quietly until the night a stranger knocks at the door. He has come with a warning that forces Mo to reveal an extraordinary secret. A storytelling secret that will change their lives forever. Like, that just sounds amazing. Like, I'm so excited to get into this book. Like, hopefully I'll get into it really soon because I really want to. Next two books are by the same author. The first one is The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. This is a part of the Twilight series and if you have watched my channel before, you would know I'm not a huge fan of the Twilight series, but it was $2.50 and I thought I might as well pick it up and give it a try. It's a novella from the Eclipse novel and I'm... I might get into this soon, I might not, but I just thought I might as well pick it up and see and maybe get into it in the future. See if I like it. And the last book in the $2.50 section was one that I was so happy to find and that is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I love The Host so much. I love it so much and we used to own a copy of this book but I'm pretty sure it got lost when we moved to Australia and I, I'm so happy to have this in my hands like and it's a hardcover book and I got it for $2.50 like wh it, and it's like good quality like there's some like stain sort of stuff and the pages are a bit yellowed but like it's a good copy of the book and it's like hardcover and I'm so happy to have this because I really want to reread this book and I just I'm very happy to have it on my shelf. Basically what this book is about is it's about a the sort of like alien species has taken over earth and has taken over the human body and so majority of earth has these alien sort of creatures just living inside of them and they on the inside sort of go away and these like aliens just take them over and but there's some people that don't have this. They've sort of stayed away from the aliens taking them over. And the main character in this book is one that uh, has rebelled and stayed away from being taken and had an alien put inside of her. So I'm really excited to read this again because I love this book so much. These next nine books are the books that I got in the $1 section. These ones I have no idea what any of them are about. Really, they just look sort of interesting from the bit of the summary that I read on the back. So I'm not really going to be able to explain to you what they are because I don't really know. Majority of them are like sort of mystery, creepy sort of books, but that's about all I know. So I'm just going to be going through them and showing them to you. The first one is Shadows by John Saul. A Certain Age by Tama Janowitz. Then I've got Lost Summer by Stuart Harrison. Ten Big Things by Janet Evanovich. I suck at pronouncing names, sorry. <laughs> the Madolescence by Chrissy Glazebrook. Lazy Bones by Mark Billingham. Undone by Michael Kimball. The Dark Room by Minette Walters. And The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, which actually is one that I'd heard of before and they had uh, like a huge row of just this book. There was like maybe 15, 20 of them just sitting there and I was like, oh, I might as well just pick one up. Like I've heard good things about it and it's like one of those like classic books that I feel like everybody has. So I thought I might as well pick it up and give it a shot at some point. Okay, so those are all of the books that I picked up at the book fest. Like I said, I'm so happy with everything I got. Even if I don't know what a lot of them are about, I'm really excited to get into them and see if I enjoy them. And like, I got all of those books for $29. Like, what even is life? Like, how does that even happen? I am so happy. <laughs> and I'm just so happy to have all of those and I'm excited to get into them. And then I also have two books that I did not get at the book fest. I just bought differently at a different time. And the first one is one that I bought off of Book Depository. And I'm very, very, very excited to have this book. I have started it and I've enjoyed what I have read so far. And that is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. If you don't know, the Divergent trilogy is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. I love Veronica Roth to pieces and... Uh, 
all of it so much and I just really like Veronica Roth. I got to meet her and meeting her was like the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Uh, and yeah, the Diversion Trilogy is my... F <sighs> I love it so much. <laughs> like, it was one of those series that I've been with from the very beginning and so when Carve the Mark came out, when Veronica Roth announced a new book, I got so excited and I finally got my hands on it and I'm very excited to continue reading it and finish it. I know there's been some controversy on this book but I'm sort of putting that under my mind and trying to read it for what it is and oh I'm so happy to have this. <laughs> and can I just say this cover is beautiful like just look at this cover and then and then and then you're not ready. You are not ready. You take off the cover and it's completely like <laughs> It's so pretty like how does that I love it so much it's like one of the prettiest hard cover or just books that I have all together like it is so pretty I love it to absolute pieces and to be honest I've only read like 20 pages of it and I'm not entirely sure like what it's about yet because I didn't really read any summaries of the book or anything because I kind of wanted to go into it blind because I knew it was a fantasy book I read like certain things but like not a lot of it made sense to me so I'm not really gonna be able to tell you a summary of this book. My friend Waverly and I over at Waverly Reads are actually doing a live show to talk about this book and that is going to be happening tomorrow night which is the 1st of July and we are going to be talking about this book. I will leave all of the information down below and you can go and check it out if you want to if you've read this book. I'm finishing I'm basically finishing this book today um, and I'm very excited because I'm not really doing much today so I just get to sit down and read this book and I'm very excited and yeah if you want to know more of my thoughts about this book and Waverly's thoughts you can come and join us at the live show tomorrow. The last book that I have here to share with you. I'm so happy to have this in my hands. It is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, uh, the Hufflepuff edition, the 20th anniversary edition. It is so pretty. Like, I, like, I just, I, <laughs> I love it so much. If you don't know, I am one of the biggest fans of Harry Potter ever. I love the books, absolute pieces. I'm a very proud Hufflepuff, and I'm so happy to have this book in my possession. <laughs> Basically, what this edition was, if you didn't know, is it has... They came out with one of the first book per house and each one has different content related to that house at the front and the back of the book so it's got things like about the house ghosts and about Helga Hufflepuff so like about the founder of the house and about like relics and like certain things related to that house and then it's got at the back it's got things like uh, the common room, like about the common room, the memorable students, the head of the house, uh, famous alumni, and like the house cup, like if they won the house cup or anything. I'm so happy to have this book in my possession. It was so beautiful and I, I'm just so happy to have this book. Okay, now I get to try and pick up all of these books without killing myself. Um, let's see if I can do this. Okay, those are all the books. That is a lot of books. <laughs> but these are all the books that I bought in June. Um, if you were wondering, uh, there's a lot of books and these are very heavy so I'm going to put them down now. Oh jeez, and they just all fell on me. Um, but yeah, those are all the books that I got within this last month. Let me know what you guys picked up in the month of June. I would love to know. Also let me know what your favorite book that you picked up was. Mine was probably either Carve the Mark or the new copy of Philosopher's Stone because Veronica Roth and J.K. Rowling 
how could you go wrong? <laughs> but let me know what your favorite book was that you picked up. I would love to know. And you can give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I would really appreciate that. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to know when I post new videos. I would really appreciate that as well. And yeah, that is about it for this video. I am Tegan, this is Bookwormia, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hello there everybody, it is Tegan here again today, and for this video I thought it could be a fun idea to share with you guys some of the music.